What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so we already went through the Safari Zone. Now it is time to go down here and uh, take care of a little ghostly situation, if you guys get my drift. You know, we're going to go to Mount Pyre and figure out what's going on over there, because something's going on over there. Something. I don't even know. So, here we go. Let's see. Let's talk to this lady. Head looms Mount Pyre. It's a natural monument to the spirits of departed Pokemon. Hmm. Mount Pyre Pier. Say that three times, Mount Pyre Pier, you know? The sign is old and worn out. The words are barely legible. Okay. All right. So all you got to do now is just surf. Right here on Route 121 all the way down to Route 122 right here. And you'll see a big old hill, big old mountain and all that stuff. And yes, guys, you'll be able to find some new things around this area. Creepy things. This place is, of course, the Monument for Pokemon. Now, we're going to go into two different kinds of places right here. We're going to go inside and then outside. First is first, we're going to go inside. And then after that, you know, in the next episode, we're going to be going to the outskirts of Mount Pyre. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, this is a final resting place for my Zigzagoon. I cherished it. Wow. Kind of like Lavender Town. Did you come to pay your respect to your spirits of the departed Pokemon? I kind of did. You must care for your Pokemon a lot. Yeah, I do. And, yeah, you can find a lot of ghost-type Pokemon right here and a lot of battles. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be battling some people. Uh, let's see. Gaia, I don't want to put him right there, but these people might have some ghost Pokemon. So the goal is double battles all the time right here. Hey, are you searching for Pokemon? You came along after me. You're rude. Huh. You're, you are unfamiliar sight. Depart before anything befalls you. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's do this right here. So here we go. Another double battle. Pe Poke Maniac Mark and Hex Maniac Leah want the battle. And wow, they're coming out with a Rhyhorn and a Spoink. If you guys remember, in my last episode, kind of had a little bit of an issue trying to capture a uh, Rhyhorn right now. And uh, well, I'm going to attack everybody. Just about everybody. And uh, oh crap, I completely forgot we don't have that move. Uh, let's go with the uh, Aerial Ace. On well, actually, hold on, hold on. What did I do? Yeah, okay, so let's go with a Slash on you, and let's go with a Psychic on you. So here we go, Psychic from Gaia, the Fierce Knight. That's right, and no more Rhyhorn. Yeah, that doesn't feel so good right now, huh? And Noob Cyborg goes with a Slash attack, or, yeah, and there we go, critical hit, finisher. Fantastic. I wonder if we can have that right here on the on this, on this whole thing right now, you know, fantastic. The voices of uh, Mortal Kombat. Still waiting on the, the new release of the game. I think it's this upcoming month. And, uh, of course, we got another battle right here. So we're going to go switch it up to Skyblade. We're going to go with Skyblade. Let's go. This guy is like, yeah, I'm terrified. Then why, then why in the heck are you up here? If you're terrified, then why are you here? WTF, man. Black Belt Xander wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Hariyama. And I think I chose correctly with my Skyblade. Look at that. Skyblade looking cool. We're going to go with a fly attack, and wow, this guy goes with a fake out. Really? You're going to go with a fake out, and uh, crud, we're going to faint, or no, no, we're going to uh, flinch. It's two for flinching right there, and he's going to come out with his vital throw, but here we go. Skyblade with a fly attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, crud. Survives. And uh, this guy's going with his knockoff, but luckily for us, we got ourselves a steel tap Pokemon. Doesn't really affect it that much, but here we go. Air Cutter for the win. How about that? That's right. Skyblade kicking butt. Everybody's kicking butt. Xander lost. Just lost. That's right. What are you, why are you so afraid? I get freaked out every time I see anything move. I shouldn't have come here to train. Yeah, that's probably the best. Yeah, why in the heck would you do that? All right, so let's get let's go with uh, Shroom Lee right here, and actually no, uh, what what the hell am I doing? Stop it! All right, uh, let's go with Raphael. All righty, so let's see what we got right here. Luke, we're here on on a dare. <laughs> if I show her how cool I am, she'll fall for me. I know it. I know. I'll cream you and show her how cool I am. Not exactly how you can lure or how you can, you know, impress ladies. I don't even know, but it says here, young couple Dez and Luke want to battle. And we got ourselves a Delcaddy and a Maynetric here. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's see. I'm going to go with a uh, Sky Uppercut on you and a Flamethrower on you. Let's see what happens. And, ooh, there's that Spark Attack. 
does affect my Raphael, but here we go. Sky Uppercut for the win. That's right. I think this is like the first time I'm using Sky Uppercut. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I do uh, record these ahead of time for, you know, all the needs. So here we go. Flamethrower attack. Come on. For the win. Is it for the win? Mainetric does not win. Sky Blade. Oh, no, 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 not Sky Blade, but just a Sky upper uh, Uppercut, if you guys get what I'm saying. Here we go. Sky Uppercut for the win. Bye bye Mainetric. You're not so cool after all. That's right. That's right. My Pokemon are awesome. And this guy's like, whoopsie. Whoopsie! You know, from Mortal Kombat, he's like, well, we lost, but it, that's okay. I'm right here by your side. We'll make it through this dare. Huh. Okay. We're lovey-dovey, so we don't care if we lose. Hmm. Probably should have talked to her first. I don't know. And here we have another Ultra Ball. Okay, that's a useful Pokeball right there. And, uh, let's see. We're gonna battle this guy. Ouch, ouch. There, there are holes in the ground here and there. I didn't notice until I took a tumble from the floor above. Oh. Okay, so I guess that's a form of, uh, you know, letting us know that we might be flying up and down. And why didn't she attack us? Memories of my dear Skitty. My eyes overflow thinking about it. Huh. Poor people. Poor people. Okay, so I want a double battle right here. Before we do that double battle, let's go with the guy that we didn't use. This guy and, uh, let's see, Noob Saibot. Yeah? Uh, okay, Noob Saibot and Gaia. Oh, looks like we're going to use Skyblade. I just realized that. Okay. Alright, come on. Turn. Somebody turn. I'm waiting for you. There we go. And, ah, ha, ha, ha. This is no place for children, at least for all three or, of all you. Why have you come here? I came here on a dare as well. I don't know. I came here just because, you know, I'm awesome like that. And here we have Psychic Kayla and Pokemon Breeder Gabrielle coming out with a Wobbuffet and a Skitty. Didn't we just capture a Wobbuffet? I think we did. So there we go, Skyblade and Swamp Lord. We're gonna go with a Surf, and we're gonna go to Nair Cutter. You know, double attacks. They always work, right? I think they do. Oh. Nearly takes out Wobbuffet right there, and Skitty's gone. Look at that. And, uh, let's see. Oh, crud. So they're coming out with another Pokemon right here with the Poochiana. So it's double battles galera right here. So we go Air Cutters on both, and uh, that Wobbuffet is strong. And, uh, oh, crud. Okay, so we're kind of screwed right now because it used Destiny Bond. If we make this uh, Wobbuffet faint with either one of these Pokemon, they will faint as well. So what I have to do now is I gotta I gotta switch my Pokemon up. Oh crud! So we're we're, we're screwed either way. It has Shadow Attack, so we can't escape. I got I guess we're gonna have to attack them both. Yeah, that Wobbuffet screwed us. It took Swamp Lord and. Uh, Actually, wait. No, it just took the attacking Pokemon right there. Kind of sucks. Okay, so Skyblade is spared. And, uh, well, that's one good reason to have, uh, one good reason to have a Wobbuffet on your team. It's very defensive, even though it gets its butt kicked every single time. I guess that's why it's formed as a punching bag, I guess. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, use that air cutter doesn't make anybody faint, but it will take a nice chunk out of these people's attack. So I'm going to go with this one and that one. Noob Saibot with a Thunderbolt attack. Alright, that's the that's a good sound. That really is a good sound right there. And uh, everybody's getting experience points. And we still got another Pokemon here. And, uh, oh crud. Here we go. Skyblade. Air Cutter. Nearly takes out the Kadabra. Zigzagoon is gone for good. There we go. And uh, more levels, more experience points, and we're just gonna go full attack on this guy. Kadabra had no chance whatsoever. That's right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, these girls were defeated. She's like, she lost cleanly. And yes, I am a very, very special trainer. Aren't we all, guys? Aren't we all special trainers? And she would like to get us our phone or get her phone number to us. It's another Pokemon breeder. Okay, that's good. All right, first is first. I gotta revive my uh, Swamp Lord because we got screwed. We really got screwed. That was a very good strategy by that Wobbuffet right there. And uh, let's go with that Hyper Potion right here. So Swamp Lord is back. And uh, well, let's see. We could go there, but I'm not intending on going anywhere right now. 
And, uh, wow, before we grab that item, this guy's like, The rich atmosphere of the mountain has elevated my psychic power. A mere child like you, you dream of winning? Huh. So much disbelief in this in this game right now. I mean, jeez, I'm only trying to be the greatest, the, the, the best I've ever can be or something like that, you know? I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. That's right. Here we go. Take down attack for this win. Let's get it. Let's do it. America. Ralts defeated. Swamp Lord takes a few, well, a few points off, but, you know, he's okay. He's not going to get defeated, so we're going to go again with another Ralts. And let's just... It's a revenge time for Swamp Lord right now. So let's go Muddy Water. Look at that. I guess that's what you call a Swamp Lord, uh, you know what, uh, taking a poop. That's right. Gaia grows to level 36. And uh, it's going to come out with a Curlia. Alrighty. Let's do this. Let's go with a secret power. See what happens here. And uh, that looks like, I guess, a super, uh, a strength attack? I would like to say it's a strength attack. It is a strength attack. Okay, so William's been defeated. I drowned in self-pity. Yeah, you have. You have. All right, let's grab this. And we found ourselves a super repel, which is also good. Very great. And, uh, well, moving on forward right here. I think we're in the last few bits of the floor or the areas right here. Um, we got a Pokemon Trainer, so let's go right ahead and switch up Swamp Lord. Let's go with Shroomly. Shroomly needs uh, some, some, some victories right now. And uh, we pass this girl up. And here she is. I love all things horrifying. It's like a disease. When I'm here, I shiver with fear. Okay, so you, you're pretty much in your element right now. And... Uh, Alrighty, we're taking on Hex Maniac Tasha. She's coming out with her shoop it or shup it. Alrighty, let's go. Um, I guess Mega Dream because any kind of physical attacks on a Ghost type Pokemon won't work. So, I guess we're all right right there. And uh, that takes quite a few, but here we have that Will O Wisp attack, which will bur burn us. Yeah, we're burnt. What the hell? What the hell? So here we go again. Let's go with the let's go with the Mega Drain. Save us the trouble of getting defeated and all that stuff. Nearly beats him. Good God. And uh, here comes a Nightshade plus a Burn Tag. So that we kind of screwed ourselves on that one right there. Ugh. All right, another Mega Drain. This time for the win. That's right. How you like that? You didn't like that shoop it or shup it. However you like to call it, I don't even know. I don't care. I like calling it Shub It. Losing is a I like I dislike. That's kinda horrifying for you, I guess. Alright, so let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon right here. Do I have a burn heal? No, but I got a full heal. Alright, you're healed and uh Alright. Let's go ahead and switch him up to Noob Cybot. The perfect po the perfect Pokemon for this whole thing. And uh let's see. Oh, we got another floor of this. Wow, okay. The repel has wore off. I should use another one. That's max repel. Um, go right here. I don't want to be attacked by any Pokemon, but you will be finding some ghost-type Pokemon here. Teacher, please watch over my progress. Okay. Let's go. Progress. Let's see what kind of progress you have. And here we have Black Bell Atsushi. Atsushi. Coming out with this Hariyama. I'm coming out with uh, Noob Saibot. That's right. Aerial Ace attack. You know, cover up my, all my weaknesses. And uh, that took care of Hariyama, but this guy's coming out with his knockout attack, or knockoff attack. And that was my black glasses, since I don't have a dark type attack yet. I don't mind. I really don't. Hariyama defeated. That's right. How's it feel to lose? And, uh... At sushi, teacher, please forgive me. Okay, all right, you've been defeated, boy. Okay, so I think that's the last floor right there. No, this is not the last floor, but we do have Pokemon trainers right here. Oh crud! So this is like rolling the dice. All right, there we go for the double battle. When I'm here, a curious power flows into me. Have you lost your bearings? Have no fear, I am here. Okay. Alrighty. 
bring it on. Let's see what happens when you take on this guy right here. And we got Valerie and Cedric wanting to battle right here. And they're coming out with a Sableye and a Wobbuffet. Crud. Okay, so we're going to have to beat these guys really quickly. Because, uh, yeah, Wobbuffet is no joke. We we experienced that in, we experienced that in the, last, the last battle right here. So we're both going to attack this guy head on. Steel Wing right here. And uh, we knew that was going to happen. That's why we're going to attack Wobbuffet first. So there we go. Thunderbolt attack. Come on. Knock him down. No. Very defensive. And uh, wow. Skyblade. Really? This, this Wobbuffet is really, really strong. So let's go and increase. Or let's let's go ahead and just, you know, increase the attack for Noob Saibot. And then have uh, Skyblade right here just do the attack, you know? Look at that. Both people get attack. And that Wobbuffet is not going anywhere. And here we come with the Faint Attack. Not going to happen. Ain't going to happen, buddy. And uh, Mirror Coat. That was going to screw us over right there. And uh, hold on just a sec. Now that, let's go with a Slash Attack. And uh, let's go with a Fury Cutter. And we knew that was going to happen. So let's go ahead and uh, use that Air Cutter on just Wobbuffet. Because, you know, Wobbuffet's the more dangerous Pokemon right here. And here we go, slash attack. Does the job right there. Look at that. Look at that. And Noob Cybot grows to level 37. Skyblade right here, just, you know, taking in the whole thing. And uh, you know what? Let's go right ahead and just beat this guy. Let's just beat him. No more losing for us, right? And that Sableye just survived. So here we go, Air Cutter. And that takes care of that. Look at that. Look at that! Defeated you. Beat you, buddy. And, uh, yeah, you guys were defeated. <laughs> Her power's ebbing away. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm special. And, uh, foo -foo -foo, I lost the match. But I have a, this little ability. Without ever laying my hands on your Pokemon. Hiya! Okay, so she gives us her phone number. That's good. Try not to call me so many times. You know, we had Johto that little experience. Now, grab this one. Find a TM30 Shadow Ball. A very, very powerful move, which, yeah, I will teach it to somebody. And uh, this is the final floor right here. So now, we're going to go through the holes here and, uh, you know, check out quite a few things. As you can see, grabbing items here and there. We get the Lax Incense. But, unfortunately, that will have to wait because I have to well I have to give up something all right let's go with the PP up you know the Pokemon Viagra give that to Noob Cybot's Thunderbolt and uh, you know what soft stone do I have a ground type Pokemon with me I should know that oh yeah I do I have Swamp Lord but it has the mystic uh, water so let's go with I don't think I have a rock type move but I can go with the smoke ball right here right you know, let's go. That, give that to Skyblade for just the just for right now. Grab this. We go. We grabbed ourselves the Lax Incense. Now, if I remember correctly, if we go into the bottom, the bottom hole right here, you will be able to go right here and find another item, another hidden item right here. And here we have the Sea Incense. Powers up any kind of water type moves, right? And uh, oh, we're getting to the very end right here. We already battled everybody. Feeling pretty good about myself. Very good. So here we are in the first floor, I think. No, second floor, and uh, there we go. We're back in the for first floor. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going through the outskirts of Mount Pyre. We will be discovering a few things here and there, you know, that kind of stuff about certain Pokemon groups and whatnot. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode. <laughs>